And make sure your workspace is clutter free. If you want to use a towel or anything to put underneath your head or your side when we're lying down, by all means grab it and just set it to one side. Water within reaching distance, so make sure it's handy. Um, if you have any extra pains, just be mindful of them. Don't do anything that's going to make things worse. Any progressions or regressions that you need, be free to make them. So let's make a start. Feet together. Flick those toes apart and then flick the heels apart. And then just give yourself a little, just a little bit of a rumble to get yourself in a, a position that's good for you. Knees are soft, have enough of the pelvis. Remember, you want to keep this area nice and stable. So in order to get the position, just give it a gentle rock forward and back. Hopefully you can see a little bit of a rock there with mine. Then make that smaller. And then just settle in a position that's comfortable with you. Think of a corset around the core region. Just enough connection to feel that that's working. Shoulders relaxed and down. Chin parallel to the floor. And just think your head nice and light like a boy. Now we're just going to start with a little bit of shoulder mobility. So just give me a little lift. And release it down. Gentle lift. And release. Two more lifts. Lift. And release. Lift. And release. Now both shoulders just lift. Circle. And down. Lift, circle, and down. Just as if you were sliding your hands into your back pockets. And down one more time. Lift, circle, and down. Now single arm, just take it up and round. Pause, and then look back, and through. Now that can be done with the bent elbow if the kids let it you. And round, circle. And through. Now we go after our shoulders again. So just lift and release. Lift and release. Two more. Lift and release. Lift. Circle. This time we're going to do two back. Just releasing it through. Lift. Pause. And then two forward. Lift. Circle forward. Lift. Forward. Single arm. Either full arm or half arm, you follow it with your eyes and feet is okay. Up and down the other direction. And release, same on the other side. Lift. Pull it through. Back. And right. Then just bring the arms in front. Now we're going to bend the knees as we bring the arms up. And just circle at the top. Lift and circle. Now it's only a small bend of the knees, it's not a full squat. Pause here, and then just change the direction of the arm. So you cross the bottom. Slight change of direction. Last two. Last one. And release it down. Look the arms just up to the shoulders, up onto the toes. Release it down. And just a nice gentle lift. And release. Lift. And release. Last one. Lift. And release. Now one arm only. Lift it up. Open it out. Bring it in. Bring it down. Other side. Lift. Open. Watch it as it goes. If that's okay for your neck. In. And down. One more each side. Lift. Knees are soft. Close the gate. In. And down. One more like this. Lift. Open. In. Now we're going to do both. So lift, open, in, down, give me a very gentle squat, one more time, and then we'll lift it open again, both arms, lift, open, in, release, gentle squat, sit back, and release, sit back, and release, and again, you know, to keep them just to show level, Open just to feel that stretch across the chest. And release two easy squats. And release. Last one. Float it up. Open it out. Bring it in. Bring it down. And then easy down. And release. Sit. And release. Now take one arm high. Ease gently over. Bring it back through centre, 
release the time. Other side. Stretch to the ceiling. And use it over, slide the other arm down. Back to the center. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Reach. Take it over. Keep that full connection. And release. Reach. Take it over. Back through center. Now you can stick with singles or take both arms up. Relax the shoulders. Imagine you're holding a ball. Take a breath in. And then just both arms. So keep that distance between the hands. Back through center. Bring it down so you get a break in between. We're reaching home. Relax the shoulders. Take it over. Keep a lot space. Back through center. And release. One more each side. Reach it high. Shoulders down. Take it over. Back through center. And release. Last time. Reach. Take it over. Back through center. And release. Now take the hands in. Hands are up. Elbows are into the sides. Shoulders relaxed and down. So all we're going to do is open and tap the close. We're just doing a little waiter. Open and close. Two more like this. Open and close. Now keep that head and shoulders relaxed. Now we're going to add on to that. So open first. Then allow the arms to float just at the shoulder level. Rotate. Bring the elbows in. Bring the hands in. Back to the start. So we open. Then we lift. Rotate, bring it in, back to center, and flip. Now I want you to breathe naturally doing this. So just whenever you feel you need to breathe, just breathe naturally, run and try, and breathe in time to the movement. But sometimes that makes life more difficult. Take it out, lift, turn, in, release, and down this time. Again, get the shoulders just a little gentle release. And we're just going to do a little neck relief. So take a breath in, nod the head. Come back through center, go arms towards the same. And just get the stretch down the head. Back through center. One more time, nod the head. Back through center, glance to the same. Back through center. Then glance over one shoulder, back through center, same shoulder, back through center, then take it to the other side, glance over the shoulder, back through center, one more time, back through center, and just release any tension that you have. Now, rotation using bow and arrow. So I want you to float your hands up, relax the shoulders down. Now, with the palm flat, slide in towards the shoulder, keep the hips forward, extend the hands, and then thumb up, slice it through, release it back. So bring the thumb towards the shoulder, extend, thumb up, slice the hand in, release it down. So bring it in, extend, slice it through, flatten it up. Bring it in, extend, slice it through, and release. Breathe it naturally. Bring it in, extend, keep those hips forward, slice it back, release last time. Bring it in, extend, slice it through, relax it down, press the hands gently behind, and again just float it onto those toes. Bring it down this time into a gentle squat. Squat and release. Lift. Bring it down. Easy squat and release. We're just doing two more of these. Lift. Bring it down. Easy squat and release. Last one. Bring it up. Bring it down. Easy squat and release. And take the arms up so that they're parallel with the shoulders. Now all we're going to go from here is just squeeze together, release it out, drop it down, 
bring it back. Squeeze together, bring it out, drop, and release. Your arms get heavy. Squeeze it in, take it out, drop, and release. Last one of these, bring it in, take it out, drop. Now, here's coordination. Keep this one still, bring this one down. And as you breathe, just change. And change. And change. Now I know when you're looking at the screen, you're thinking, how old does this look? Four, and three, and two, and one. Release, bring it down. Now bring the arms forward, and just press away as you release through the shoulders. And release it down. Take the hands behind. Now you can rest your hands here and ease your shoulders back. Or clasp the hands and just go down the front. You want to stretch just across the front of the shoulders and the front of the chest. And release and just give the shake. Now we'll give the upper, upper body a bit of a rest. And we're just going to go do a little bit of leg, hip and knee mobility. So, pop up onto the toe. And so you're just walking in the spot, opposite arm, opposite leg. And eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Now, bring the knee up. Arms are doing the same thing. Bring it down. Bring it up. Bring it down. So it's just the knee lift, opposite arm lift, and release. Lift and release. Now try to avoid swaying from side to side when you do this. Try and bring the feet back to the same position each time so there's as little movement as possible. Lift and release. Lift and release. Last one each side. Lift and release. Lift and release. And then just pass it through. Now we're going to do a hip opener. So, the knee is going to come slightly across and open out. What you do with your arms is entirely up to you. Get the shoulders relaxed, and then just bring the knee gently across, open through, down and reset. Take it across, open it out, and reset. If you need to put your hand against the wall, by all means do so. Bring it across, open it through, reset. Bring it across, open it through, Reset. You only make that as big as you need to to feel that. Release through the hip. Open. And through. One more each side. Open. Round. And through. Last one. Open. Round. And through. Gentle squat. We're going to do a squat first. Then give me a side leg lift at this side. Lift. And release. Squat. Same leg. Side leg lift and release. Squat, so we're concentrating on the one side. Side leg lift and release. Put it nice and smooth. Squat, side leg lift and release. Same leg, this time take it behind. So squat first, then gentle lift and hold. Release it back down. Squat down, bring it through. Now you can have one arm, both arms are no arms with that lift. And release. Squat. Back through center. Slight body lean, belly button through the spine. But flex if it suits you. Okay, last one. Sit. Gentle lift. Release. And just ease it out. Just give a little bit of release. And then what we did for one side, we do for the other. So reset, take your weight onto the other side, and then even it out. See so in which side you're starting. So squat first, then side leg. Shoulders relaxed. Take it down, then transfer the weight, lift, and release. Now to aid your balance, once you get the movement pattern, don't look at me. Look at the floor about a mat's distance ahead of you. And that will help you retain your balance if you're not looking at something that's moving. 
One more time to the side, lift and release. Now same thing, squat this time, a back leg lift. So extend and release. Now remember, don't take the leg too far back, just enough to feel those glutes engage. Flex your foot if it feels okay. Back through center. Squat, keep it nice and slow and controlled. Hold and release. And through, last one. Squat. And through. Bring it up. Release. And again, just give it a little jiggle. 